hello my my beauty queens welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm looking a little oily because i didn't touch up my face um i'm not too long getting home from work but i wanted to try out this powder and you guys already know what it is it is the tatcha the silk powder and here's what it looks like right here when you opened it up it's cute purple touch of the silk powder lavender and you open it up like this and it has the little safety cap right here which I'm going to pull off and here's what the powder looks like right here so yeah so I'm going to be reviewing or trying out should I say the touch of the silk powder on one side and then I wanted to try out my feet my forever cushion Dior powder in deep 040 and that's what this looks like right here. This is nothing new. I did a review and tutorial on this. So I will link it down below if you happen to miss it. So here's the Dior right here. And then here is the Tatcha. So let me hold them side by side. And yeah, if I can get the top back on here. Let me see. Okay, there you go. Take your time, Aisha. Take your time. All right, so the Tatcha right here. And the Dior right here. So yeah, so let's see. So since the Tatcha is new, I'm going to read the claims. And so the claims are italic-free translucent setting powder with a radiant finish that blurs while cocooning or cocooning skin from pollutants and blue light. So yeah, so yeah, this is what we're looking like. Once again, like I said, the Tatcha, the silk powder. And then when you open it up, I guess after I remove this little, we know this wouldn't be my video if I didn't drop nothing. So once you remove that little white thing right there, I guess you just shake it and it comes out like that. So I'm going to take my Sonya G Face One brush right here. I'm going to just dip it in there. And you guys already know I forgot a mirror. So let me get my mirror. So here's my mirror, and yeah, I dipped it in the Tatcha powder, and I'm going to do my right, your left. So like, as you can see, my face is a little oily. I'm just getting home from work, so you can see the oil. So yeah, so the Tatcha, the silk powder on my right and your left. So let's see. Guys, let me know if you could tell the blurring effect. I'm just going to do one half of my face. So this is what we're looking like. So let me know if you can see the difference. This is the side with the Tatcha powder. This is the oily side right here. So my right, your left, the Tatcha powder, and I use the Sonya G Face One brush. So that's what we're looking like right there. So no powder at all. Tatcha silk powder. No powder. Tatcha silk powder. And then let me back up a little bit so you can see, you know, not so much in the light. So yeah, let me know what you think. Tatcha silk powder, no powder. So now I'm going to go in with my Dior powder on my left your right and see if we could see a difference so with this powder right here you just open it and then it has the Dior puff and like I said I already did a review and tutorial so I'm not going to go too deep into it but I'm going to just shake this up and then too with the Dior powder it come in multiple shades I forget how many shades but I'm thinking like four or five shades whereas the Tatcha just come in one shade so for my left, your right, I'm going to take my Smooth Buffer by Sonya G right here. Pretty much the same as the Face One, just smaller. And I'm going to go in with this one right here. And then this one has a mirror. But like I said, I got a review and tutorial on a Dior Cushion Powder. All right, so I'm going to tap some off. And then we're going to go in on this side. Hmm. And this one does have like a little um, 
floral scent to it. So yeah. So yeah, it has a floral, not overwhelming, but just a little um, floral scent. So let me know if you guys can tell the difference. So yeah, let me know what you think. This is the Tatcha, um, back up a little bit. This is the Tatcha powder right here. So this, yeah, this is the Tatcha powder. This is the Dior powder. And then looking straight forward, let me get a little up close and personal. So yeah, let me know what you think. Like I always say, your opinion is greatly appreciated. Let me know if you picked it up. Yeah, just let me know. So once again, this is what the Tatcha powder look like. I'm going to see if I can swatch it a little bit for you. But it is translucent, so that's the Tatcha powder right there. And that's what's on my right, your left. And back up a little bit so you can see it. So I think it's a very beautiful powder. So far, so good. I will update you guys and let you know how it wore because I'm going to keep it on for the rest of the day. Until I get ready to take my makeup off. So yeah, the touch of the silk powder and a Dior cushion powder. Let me see if I can swatch the um Dior cushion powder for you. So yeah, so this is Dior cushion and this is the touch of powder. So touch of powder on my right, your left. Dior powder on my left, your right. And then I'm going to take one other brush. Let me see. I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to take my Luxie 522 brush right here and see how it looks under the eyes. So I'm just going to shake it and go under the eyes and see what it do. So yeah, this is what it looks like under the eyes. Not too bad. And like I said, I already had a full face of makeup on already. I'm just getting at, um, getting home from work, but I wanted to test it out. So I'm going to shake this a little bit more. Pat it off and see what it looks like under my eyes. See if it's ashy or anything like that. And you guys let me know. And I know you will let me know. But like I always say, my my beauty queens, be nice. So yeah, so this is what we're looking like under the eye with the Tatcha Silk Powder. And this is what we're looking like on the right side of my face, which is your left with the um, Tatcha Silk Powder. All right, so then I'm going to go in and I'm just going to wipe this off. All right, so now I'm going to go in with my Dior Powder and set on the other side. And as you can see, the Dior Powder have... Um, a little more color or a lot of more color than a translucent um, Tatcha Silk Powder. But this is the deepest shade in a Dior powder because it comes in um, four or five shades. Uh -huh. All right. And so this is the Dior side. So yeah, so Dior, Tatcha, and this is a backup, and then this is a close-up. So Tatcha, my right, your left, Dior, my left, your right. All right, my, my beauty queens, this was a quick one. So yeah, once again, this is the Dior, the Dior Cushion Powder compared to the Tatcha, the silk powder. Um, the Tatcha powder was 48 bucks, but I did get a discount because of the 15% off when you spend 50 bucks. So I did get 15% off the um, Tatcha, the silk powder. And then as for the Dior powder, I purchased, this was maybe like 60, 65 bucks in US because I purchased it, you know, um, from Self Fringes. So yeah, so this was 65 bucks in US. This was 48 bucks in US. The Tatcha has a radiant translucent setting powder 
It has 20 grams and 0.7 ounces in this last six months. And like I said, this was 48 bucks, but I did get 15% off. Whereas the Dior Forever powder was 65 bucks, you get 10 grams and you get 0.35 ounces. So let me know what you think. Let me switch them around. So let me know what you think of the powders. Let me know if you pick the powders up. So yeah, just let me know. Tatcha. All right. So y'all can see. All right, Tatcha compared to the Dior. So yeah, just let me know. This is a quick one. I just wanted to get on here and try my Tatcha powder because I was anxious to try it. And I was like, why not try it after work when my face is already kind of oily? So yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you tried the powder. Let me know if you picked up the powder. Let me know if you could tell a difference from the Tatcha side to the Dior side. So yeah, so like I always say, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. And then until next time, stay safe, stay well. Kisses. Peace out.